Hi, everybody. Welcome to Learning Mongo Database. This course is about learning the Mongo Database schema, indexes, and queries. Now, my name is Mike Shallop, and I started programming about almost 40 years ago. I've been working extensively with databases as a programmer for the last couple of decades. And in the last decade alone, I've been working on developing a custom framework for backend data processing using PHP, Mongo, and other databases. But basically, I've been working with Mongo as a programmer since about 2004, 2005, somewhere around there. So I've been working with it for a while. I've also got several years experience as a classroom instructor, so I hope that kind of rubs off on these videos and you gain something useful and fantastic from them. And I know just enough DevOps to be classified as dangerous. So mainly I'm a programmer that works with databases. Now, in our course overview for this product, what we're going to be talking about is using Mongo database on a day-to-day -day basis. How do you access it? How do you use it? How do you configure it? And how do you maintain it? And that's what this course is going to be about. Now, it, there's four sections to the course. And the first section is all about schema and data denormalization. And of course, understanding Mongo databases is all about understanding data denormalization if you're coming from a traditional relational database world. To do that, we need to look at schema and we need to look at data type. We'll examine all the data types that Mongo provides us with out of the box. The second section is about database collection indexing. Now, indexing, as you know, is very important to a database. Indexing is how we maintain our performance levels. Indexing is how we keep our spaces tight and efficient for storage in terms of the amount of storage used and indexing is how we scale so if your system is going to handle five users or five million users to be able to grow to that endpoint you're going to need to know something about indexing and we'll cover all of that in the index section and that'll take us to section three which is crud now crud is an acronym in the database world for create read update and delete and these are the basic queries that you issue to any database, not just Mongo. So we'll go through the basic CRUD queries, and we'll teach you how to use the CRUD queries. We'll look at various queries for each of the operations. And at the end, we'll handle some of the Mongo's built-in aggregation queries as well, the ones that come with the database out of the box. And then finally, once we know how to use the database, the last section will talk about administrating the database. And that entails maintaining your databases and the database collections, dropping them, moving them, etc., and the all-important backup and recovery. So the prerequisites for Product 2, Learning Mongo Database Schema, Indexes, and Queries, are pretty light. First of all, I'd like you to be comfortable with the Mongo shell and being able to access the Mongo database through the Mongo client. So that implies that you have access to a MongoDB instance. Now, in the previous product, we set up a standalone Mongo database. We set up a replication set or a replication cluster, and then we set up a sharded replication cluster. Now, for this course, you only need a standalone instance, and for that standalone instance, you should be as far as the database is concerned, the root user, because we're going to be deleting databases, creating databases, moving databases, and we're going to be doing the same thing to tables. So it's good that you own this particular MongoDB installation that you're working with while you're following along with these video courses to give you a better understanding and hands-on approach to, to learning the material. You should also have a pretty good understanding or be comfortable with the Unix shell or the Linux shell prompt because in this product we're also going to be using the shell to copy databases, to copy tables from one instance to another. And we'll be doing that using the SCP command. And we'll be using some other bash shell commands. And when we get to those in the videos, I'll explain what we're doing. But again, have a level of comfort with using the command line, both in Linux and in the Mongo client. And then finally, as far as database knowledge is concerned, 
it would be preferable if you have an understanding of relational database theory. In other words, we're going to be talking a lot about Mongo being schemaless and the advantages that brings to the table. But to understand that, you should know what schema is in the first place. And secondly, we're going to be doing a lot of work with indexing because I feel personally that indexing is one of the more misunderstood concepts in database theory amongst programmers. So have a passing understanding of what indexing is in a database and how it applies to a table or a collection and how it improves or hinders the performance of that of queries against that collection or table. And finally, have an appreciation or a working knowledge of the difference between data types. We're going to be using a lot of what we call CRUD commands, create, read, update, delete. So we're going to be working a lot with individual records of data. And it's a good thing for you to know what the different supported data types are. And we'll cover this in the videos. But if I say something like it's a float versus an int, or it's a car versus a var car, or a string versus text, you should know enough about data types to understand the difference between those different data types, just for your own comfort level. And that's pretty much all you need to know before taking this particular product, Learning Mongo Database Schema Indexes and Queries.